So now we're interested in the concept of measure of position. So we've talked about the mean, which compares the whole data set and finds a middle. Standard deviation tells us a spread of the numbers. But sometimes we want to look at just an individual number and talk about that relative to the set of data. So the first way we're going to do that is to study what's called a z-score. And the definition of a z-score is the number of standard deviations a data entry is away from the mean. So we're taking one number and we're saying how far is it from the middle, but taking steps the size of a standard deviation. The other nice thing about this is it kind of makes everything more apples to apples. And so since it's a standardizing process, now we can compare data from different sets of information um, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> we can compare them to each other even though they came from data with a different mean and a different spread, and you'll see that in a minute. So the next thing we want to talk about is, now we know that's what a z-score is measuring, but what's important to understand is that data items that are larger than the mean, that are bigger than the center, they will have a positive z-score, whereas a, something that's below the middle would have more of a negative z-score. And as we go to work with z-scores, we're always going to answer two places to the right of the decimal because of a table that we're going to be using in the future.